Hello, dear student. Good afternoon. Today we will see and discuss on the second part of chemical control. The topic is uh, importance of chemical control and uh, the different hazards caused by pesticide. So let's see the firstly the importance of chemical control. So you know well in the last lecture that we learned all the tools of integrated pest management. So it's a last tool of chemical control. So use of chemical that uh, pesticide that comes under in chemical control. So why it is in the last resort that when all the methods, the other methods that to fail and to keep the pest population that below the economic injury le level or economic uh, that uh, uh, loss that caused by pest. So this uh, use of chemicals or use of pesticide should be need that to base on that uh, judicious even for the based on that uh, different uh, surveillance and uh, forecasting program. So on the basis of this ETL, so that finally we have to take the help of this uh, chemical control and to minimize not only the cost involved, but also to reduce associated problem that are caused by this pest. So uh, while uh, that uh, going to chemical control, so we need to understand that thoroughly how to spray, when that to need to spray, even for to where to the spray, and what is the procedure to spray. So that uh, these are the point, points that to keeping in your our mind. That's why that the chemical control that is generally used. So let's see the importance. So firstly, what may be the different uh, conventional insecticide are among the most popular that uh, agent, that chemical control agent, because of they are readily available in the market that having that rapid uh, killing acting process and highly reliable even uh, if you uh, that uh, single application that if we spread that uh, gives the control several different uh, species by pest and usually forms a persistent residue that continues to kill the insect for hours even for the many days even for the many years after the application that is called as the residue that after the treated after the chemical spread on plants or other community what may be the deposition or what will be the deposit remains of pesticide generally through this persistent pesticide occur okay so because of so their convenience and their uh, effectiveness point of view these uh, insecticide are quickly and that uh, having the uh, that uh, major standards practice for the pest control so during last uh, 1960 century and the 1970 century so that time point of that that time that years this pesticide generally used and not that to use only in agriculture it is used in the different uh, uh, community for the even for the point of view, public health point of view those are the vectors that uh, transmit the diseases so that uh, purpose also this pesticide are used uh, so the major uh, importance in animals humans even plant so in the in the absence of if this pesticide or this agrochemical so what happened so this uh, crop production has uh, not possible to use the more or to get the more yield okay so that is the has become a impossible proposition because of uh, if you think about that estimate the data that in india so approximately the pest that causes a loss more than 18 percent in crop yield and if you that valued in the rupees approximately this 90 crores that due to the pest and diseases and different weeds attack that uh, on each year this is approximately data that uh, that obtained through this uh, internet 
okay so these are the that uh, if you overlook on that uh, uh, attack or that uh, losses by the past and other uh, agent so approximately data that to uh, in crore so the protection of humans that from the different uh, vectors such as mosquito is possible only due to the pesticides that we with we you also use in our home that are different types of this mosquito coil and even like the spray okay so to give the protection to humans of the those are the disease causing agent okay that's vectors so through this pesticide so if you that are also used in the forest trees even for the animals in the livestock protection that are obtained through the the chemicals if you that uh, that having the significant significant uh, that uh, role uh, through this pesticide although there are that uh, are benefits to use of pesticide okay and also have the several uh, drawbacks also such as also toxicity to the humans and other animals also because of the overuse even for the misuse even that uh, that uh, those are chemicals have led to widespread term widespread uh, criticism of chemical control and in a few cases that resulted uh, in the long term environmental that uh, consequences through this pesticide so if you think about the effectiveness of an insecticide usually depends on when and where the pest encounters it and that time that gives the maximum protection to the crop other uh, that uh, commodity even livestock and even also the human being so this is overall the importance of the chemical control so let's see the discuss on the properties of uh, our the an ideal pesticide or insecticide so those pesticides or insecticide are freely available in the market in the different formulation this is one good ideal pesticide so it should be selective to the pest it should be toxic for the target pest only it should have quick uh, that get a knockdown effect on target pest should have high tolerance limits and major one to it should be safe to humans fish different uh, honey bee species and different uh, pollinators even non target animals that cause as a natural enemies and non target like an uh, uh, organism like the different uh, vertebrates even it should be have the wide range of compatibility with other chemical pesticide and major one for the cost benefit cost point of view it should be the cheaper it should be free from offensive smell or bad odor for uh, to uh, avoid uh, avoidation on that to, to means to for the irritation purpose okay so it should be free so it should be stable on on application during the application time so it should be stable on that uh, treated uh, uh, plant parts or other commodity it should be non residual or preparable uh, for the biodegradable property it should work in different or multiple mode of action of the pesticide and major one it should not be phytotoxic or to during the application to it is a easy use and to not allow the insect to develop resistance fastly through this pesticide so here that more than uh, 19 that uh, uh, good ideal properties okay so now the next one we'll see about the pesticide hazards so firstly what is been by hazards hazards is nothing but it's a risk or danger through poisoning when and chemical that use or applied so what may be the poisoning symptoms or poisoning occur so called as a pesticide hazard so this pesticide hazard cause in three different ways during the manufacturing time or preparation of formulation or during the application or spraying time or during the consumption of treated produce after the treated produce what may be the poisoning occur in humans animal and other okay so those are the danger or poisoning occur called as the pesticide hazard so similarly the various hazards also that caused by pesticide the first is hazards to the man those pesticides or insecticide are highly toxic and to a wide range of animals including the man and how the contaminate that uh, contaminate through this uh, persistent pesticides to the environment 
and obviously after the environment cause or that uh, uh, effect so to reach to human being through the other uh, factor like a uh, uh, food water meal even also the meat that time this poisoning occur that uh, hazards to the man resistance development in insect different uh, insecticide that uh, have ability to pass resurgence in uh, two ways generally it induces the resistance in insect so that uh, the after the initial the pest are the minimize and start uh, growing in number again tremendously so why because to destroy the parasite and other vertebrates other uh, other uh, animals that means the resistant developing so that time it cannot be controlled those are those pest are resistant so to uh, called as a resistant development in insect so similarly the third one pest resurgence pest resurgence means what those are the insect are not to um, kill and tremendously increase again because of destroying of uh, that uh, predators parasites and finally leading to the pest resurgence that means suddenly increase the pest population called as a pest resurgence now the secondary pest outbreaks this is also the major that uh, hazards by these pesticides due to the those are the broad spectrum highly or extremely toxic chemical when used so during this uh, major pest that will control but the similarly those are the minor pest present in the field and this minor pest becomes a major one called as secondary pest outbreaks because of the there the non target animals non target pest also destroyed by pesticide and that is the responsible for this the secondary pest outbreak now the danger to the pollinators many pollinators like uh, honey bees bumble bees even some butterflies other that uh, insect also that responsible for the pollination in field so those are the pesticide used resulting in the pure yield and the fruits and seeds due to the affected by this uh, this uh, pollinators so this is also the one cause that uh, hazards okay because of after the application of this pesticide when the bees comes not only from this uh, direct contact by poisoning but also after the contaminated nectar collected this honey bees and when return into the hive so that time this is the next generation next progeny that to harm by this pesticide similarly the effects on wild life also wild life also that will hazard caused by pesticide so those vertebrates and invertebrates adversely affected that to use of this pesticide due to that we if you uh, talk them about the water contamination so this uh, due to the pesticide not only kills the aquatic insect which are those are this food for these uh, like a uh, fish this also accumulate accumulate in fish body by the million fold and through this this many birds particularly the fish eating that ones die due to the insecticide poisoning this is the major reason that is the effect on wildlife also now deleterious effects on plants those are the insecticide cause phytotoxic effect on plants so that uh, destroy the germinating power of seeds even that to impart of uh, flavor of the uh, edible parts so that is the deleterious effects of plants hazards of pesticide residue also this is one also the main cause for hazards by pesticides D due to the those are this residue uh, occur through this persistent pesticide so this uh, insecticide accumulate uh, the like in lakes in ocean and uh, due to this uh, finally that uh, occur that biological magnification okay so that is called as the pesticide residue okay so even also the next one that is the diseases diseases means the pesticide are uh, highly that responsible to pollution cause in several and to invite or that to cause many diseases like uh, cancer even for the filariasis in human being even also the domestic uh, animals if you talk about that ecological balance point of view this 
total environmental and ecological uh, ecosystem is totally that are destroyed by this pesticide because of to destroy this wildlife plants and insect so these are all that uh, uh, the uh, pesticide hazards caused by this uh, pesticides